thanks to the Duncan Norman Scholarship, I've been able to conduct research on the response to child criminal exploitation in the UK. One of the most challenging yet rewarding aspects of my PhD has been interviewing parents and caregivers of children who have been criminally exploited. Thanks to the Duncan Norman Scholarship, we've been able to provide these families with a voice and give them a platform to share their experience of the response to child criminal exploitation, in turn improving the response for future families. Each year when we meet the trustees and the other recipients, I feel uplifted and a boost of motivation to continue with the year ahead. So a massive thank you to the Duncan Norman Scholarship team and I'm so excited to see what the rest of my PhD journey holds. Hi, I am Shakir Atoyebi. I was awarded the Duncan Norman Research Scholarship in 2020 and I'm currently a third year of my PhD in the Department of Pharmacology and Therapeutics. The Duncan Norman Research Scholarship gave me a wonderful opportunity to contribute to research and conversation on improving the appropriate use of drug in pregnancy. During the course of my studies, I have also taken multiple opportunities to develop myself and to contribute and positively impact those around me. So thank you so much for the generous support. Hello there, I'm Dr. Sarah Tickle. I was awarded the Duncan Norman Research Scholarship in 2009. My undergraduate degree in Criminology and Sociology and also my Master's in Research Methodology were completed at the University of Liverpool and I really hope that I could continue and I could complete my doctorate at the University of Liverpool too. Therefore, the Duncan Norman Scholarship enabled this to happen. I was extremely honoured and privileged to be awarded this scholarship um, in 2009 in order to be able to pursue my PhD there. My PhD thesis explores the ways in which young people conceptualised um, and experienced police and safety, security and harm in two coastal resorts and the young people were aged between 10 and 17 years old. Um, I feel that my research that was funded by the Duncan Norman Scholarship contributed not only to the literature in the field, but also to the stakeholders involved, um, particularly the young people, which made this piece of research really valuable, not only to myself, but to others. It contributed to my personal academic development um, to help establish myself in the field of criminology and sociology allowing me more opportunities to continue my work in academia um, in research and as a lecturer, allowing for obviously further personal and professional development. I'm now a senior lecturer um, at John Moores uh, University in Liverpool and my field of expertise is in the area of policing, social exclusion um, and looking at harms of young people um, and child children um, at risk and also in coastal resorts. So I'm really interested in, in looking at space and place and time. There's lots and lots of ways in which this scholarship has enabled me to, to develop um, and the number one thing that I'm really passionate about is listening to those lived experiences of young people. So all in all, and I, I am extremely grateful and feel very honoured and very privileged that I was awarded the Duncan Norman Scholarship in 2009. So thank you very much. Thank you.